show, I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. in the morning and they're still at it next door. Joni, I'm, I'm going to call them up and complain. <laughs> Honey, we've been complaining for six years now and you know it never does any good. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, what do we do? Stay up all night as, as usual? Well, it's only three nights a week, dear. <laughs> Saturday night's the big party. <laughs> Tuesday night's the bridge game. Wednesday night, the poker game. Only three nights a week. Well, what's the use? Can't go to sleep until the party's over next door and, and... Wait a minute, wait a minute, dear. I don't hear anything now. Maybe it's over. Yes, maybe you're right. Good night. Good night, love. <laughs> a party of our own and at least enjoy being stale. A party? But I'm dead tired. <laughs> You're tired? I'm so tired I can barely walk. I'll be right back, honey. I don't think this boy is well. Soft lights, my dear. And music. Uh, and yes. champagne. Set my heart on fire. Good vintage, Piper Holstein, yesterday morning. Piper Holstein, my favorite. The thrill of your wonderful ah! I'm glad it wasn't flat. Mmm, good grapes. Oh, champagne. I just love it. The bubbles tickle my nose. <laughs> And may I say, my dear, you've never looked more enchanting and ravishing. Oh, thank you, my sweet. May I propose a toast? Do. Here's to our love. It could be inspired if we weren't so tired. Oh, ah, my darling. Would you, would you care to, to dance? No, thanks. I'd rather lie this one out. But darling, they're playing our song. Our song? Yes, my precious one, come and dance with me. Hello. Who? What? <laughs> well, how do you like that? Who was that? The car stairs next door. They said they're trying to get to sleep now, and would we please stop making such a racket? <laughs> would we just, just a little more on there every night? hear the news. Well? Well, I went next door to the car stairs to complain. And guess what? What? They're moving. Moving? Yes. They feel it's too noisy a neighborhood. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. <laughs> yep, they put the 
house up for sale, and as soon as it's sold, we're going to be having new neighbors, darling. Isn't that wonderful? Just thinking no more staying away every Saturday, Wednesday, and Tuesday night. All of them is moving. Goodbye forever. Goodbye forever. Goodbye. Oh, Joan. Goodbye. Oh, Joan. Goodbye. Oh, Joan. Good. Hello? Well, how do you know what the new neighbors will be like? Oh, that's right. Gee, they might even be worse, huh? And after six years with the car stairs, we deserve something better. <laughs> Brad? Yeah? There's only one thing to do. What? I'm going into the real estate business. <laughs> the real estate business? Jolly, what are you talking about? Well, I'm going to find a buyer for the car stairs house. That way, we'll know what kind of neighbors we're getting. Three nights a week. And that's the situation. You can see how serious it is. Uh, you've just got to help me find a buyer for the Carstairs house. Well, we'll be glad to help you, Joan. Sure we will. Oh, oh I'd love we to. Can. But just what kind of neighbors do you want? I don't care, as long as they're quiet. I was thinking possibly of a GI, a veteran. A veteran? Yeah, or the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make him pretty quiet. <gasps> I hear Miriam Walters is looking for a house. Miriam Walters? I don't believe I know her. A ghastly woman. Is she quiet? And her husband is such a bore. Is he quiet? They're a horrible couple. Are they quiet? No, let's forget about the Walters. It would Wouldn't want to live next door to that. In the first place, place, she's an awful girl. Oh, oh, girls, girls, just a minute, please. I know the very people. You girls all know Agatha Murdoch, don't you? Is she quiet? And her husband, Drexel Murdoch. Is he quiet? They're a wonderful <laughs> Are they quiet? They have a chauffeur. Is he quiet? And a big black limousine. <laughs> Is it quiet? Oh, they're just what you want. They're a quiet elderly couple. And I happen to know that Agatha is looking for a smaller house now that her children are all married. Oh. Now, girls, uh, let's get on with it. I just meeting, can't thank so you many enough. enough. Well, uh, really, just... That's fine. Now, there's many things to take up today. Hey, you don't even know what this that... means to me. Yes, we're just uh, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> now, Brad, you know that now for six years, we were talking about this the just other day. a little quiet. Yeah, quiet. Quiet? <laughs> yes. Who? You? Me? Yes. <laughs> quiet, isn't it? That's a pleasure. Well, Brad, admit that you're married to a real little genius. Well... Go on, admit it, Eddie. <laughs> well, all right, I... Married to a real little genius. You're darn right. Here's the car stairs put their house up for sale hardly more than a week ago. And our new neighbors, the Murdochs, have already bought the house and moved in. Look, Johnny, I'm tired. We had... And are they just ordinary neighbors? No, they're hand-picked neighbors. <laughs> yes, sir. Hand-picked by that neighbor-picking expert, Johnny Stevens. Yes, folks. I've been handpicking neighbors now for now under 20 years. And I can truthfully say that the Murdochs are just naturally milder, <laughs> quieter neighbors. Folks, if you'll notice, their lights are already out, proving that the Murdochs are at least 30% older, quieter, and tireder neighbors. <laughs> Try a Murdoch today, won't you? And now, Back to our feature film. <laughs> All right, Joni. You did a wonderful job, but let's take advantage of it and get some sleep, huh? Okay, darling, but okay. remember, when you're snoring your head off tonight, don't forget that you owe it all to me. Oh, yeah. Good night, Good night But who keeps dogs so close by? It's... Oh, my gosh. It's the Murdochs. They've got barking dogs. A and dogs just don't make noise on Tuesday and Wednesday and Saturday nights. They can keep it up every night. I owe it all to you. <laughs> Do you 
Remember me, Clara's friend, Joan Stevens, your next-door neighbor? Well, picked a fine time to pay a social call. Oh, no, no, this isn't a social call. It's about your dogs. My dogs? What about my dogs? Well, they're barking. <laughs> my dear Mrs. Stevens, that is the normal course of things. Canaries sing, cats meow, dogs bark, and good night. Oh, just a minute. Uh, you don't understand. What? Well, uh, my husband and I are trying to sleep. So could you please keep your dogs quiet? Keep them quiet? Yes. Are you suggesting that I repress my dogs? Inhibit them? Warp their personalities? Well, my husband and I are trying to sleep. Mrs. Stevens, I'm afraid you don't understand. These are show dogs with the finest breeding and bloodlines that go back hundreds and hundreds of years. Do you expect me to deny sensitive animals the right to self-expression? Well, of course you don't. No, I guess not. So you just run along, Mrs. Stephen, and I'll tell you what. What? I won't even tell them that you complained. Oh, thank you. Good night, Mrs. Mandel. Just a minute, Mrs. Marsh. Not so loud. These dogs are nervous and temperamental, remember? You'll upset them. Well, what about my husband? He's trying to sleep. Mrs. Stevens, you have a most peculiar sense of values. Has your husband won six blue ribbons or a gold loving cup? No. <laughs> Is your husband by Hannibal II out of Princess Moonbeam the third? I don't think so. At least he never mentioned it. You see, Mrs. Stevens, we must prevent your husband from annoying my dog. Well, of course. Now, don't you worry, Mrs. Murdoch. I'll see to it that my husband doesn't bother them at all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good night. Uh, good night, Mrs. Murdoch. What happened here? <laughs> oh, so sleepy and groggy in court today, I signed the wrong paper and sentenced myself to jail for six months. Well, I'm pretty sleepy myself. All night long, those dogs barking, barking, barking. Just like that, they kept barking. <laughs> right around it again. Joan, no, no, remember what I said. Just call the police. Can't hate to do this. And men has to sleep. Uh, Joan, Joan, maybe you'd better speak to the police. As a judge, I don't want it to appear as though I'm taking advantage of my office. Oh, all right, dear. All right. But remember, we're not going through another night like the last one. Now, be very firm. Oh, I will. I'll be a regular old... Hello. Ford Street Station, Kilpatrick speaking. Uh, hello, uh, this is Mrs. Stevens at 133 Stone Drive. I'd like to complain about some dogs residing at 135 Stone Drive. They bark all night long and keep us awake. Well, madam, we don't like to send men out unless the dogs are actually disturbing the peace. Are they barking right now? <laughs> well, of course they're barking right now. Uh, listen to this, officer. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, I can't say I did. <laughs> How about now? No. You can't hear him, Brad. Listen, I know what to do. This phone's got a long cord. I'll take it out in the backyard. Then that officer can really hear him. That's a good idea. Uh, uh, one moment, please. Take it easy. Take it easy. One moment now, officer, and you'll hear the loudest barking you ever heard. Come here. Come here, fellas. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay, boys, sound your A. <laughs> One at a time, we're both. <laughs> <laughs> but 
will stick the phone in their faces. Maybe that'll make them bark. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he thinks it's a licorice bone. Come here, boys. Hello? 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 Uh, oh, uh, they'll be barking in a moment now, officer. Please bark, huh? Please. Uh, you can even growl, that's all right. <laughs> Go ahead, do something, will you, fellas? Do, do a little something. Say hello, anything at all, anything. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'll bark at you, then you bark at me, right? Okay? Come on, I'm barking. Ooh. Oh, so that's your game, is it? Barking yourself and trying to put the blame on some poor, innocent dogs. Oh, oh, no, 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 officer, I... No more of your lies now. Go on to bed, lady. And sober up. I gotta go back to bed and sober up, Brad. Isn't that the limit, Brad? Just when you want the dogs to bark, they won't bark. Well, that's animal, honey. Well, at least now that it's quiet, maybe we can get some sleep tonight, huh? Oh, boy, I sure need it. Joni, I'm home. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, darling. Dinner's ready. Oh, I'm too tired, dear. So exhausted, I can't see straight. And tomorrow I have to render a verdict in the most important case that's ever come up before me. Well, I just feel awful, Brad. I, I chose those neighbors. Well, Johnny, I, I just simply have to get some sleep. Well, you go right to bed, darling. I'll figure out some way to quiet those dogs. <laughs> ah, dear. No, no, dear, no. No, honey. The bedroom's over this way, dear. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Schaefer speaking. Is this Dr. Schaefer, the uh, veterinarian? Yes. Doctor, I wonder if you could answer a question for me. Uh, what makes dogs bark at night? That's really quite simple, madam. Dogs are very much like babies. They bark at night for the same reason that a baby cries. You mean you have to burp them or change them? <laughs> no, no, I mean they, uh, they want attention. They're lonesome. They want company, that's all. Oh. That's right. I remember when I was out with them last night, they stopped barking. In fact, I couldn't even get them to bark. That proves my point exactly. Well, thanks. I guess I know what I have to do. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you get undressed, dear? You'll be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, Joni, aren't you, aren't you going to sleep? Well, I'm going over to Mabel's for a little while, dear. Don't wait up for me, dear. I... I came over here to spend the evening with you two so you wouldn't bark, see? Now, I don't want one peep out of you. No more. Will you shake on that? A shake. Now, let me promise me there'd be no barking. Now, shall we all go to bed like, like good doggies? All right. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, let's all get in here now. Let's be. I want. Excuse me, please. All right? Let's all get in. I tell you, you come out here. Here, come on out. I'll get in first. <laughs> My, it sure is dusty in here. But I guess you weren't expecting company, huh? Well, let's all go to sleep now. Turn out the lights. Oh, I guess you got no electricity in here, huh? <laughs> let's all be good boys now and get a little shut eye. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why don't you bury your bones like the rest of us? <laughs> Oh, well, good night, dear. Well, thank you. You're very... <laughs> good night, sweetheart. Come on, baby. There you are. Get your bike. <laughs> Come on, Montgomery. I've got a nice tidbit for you, too. Go get the bone, Montgomery. It's delicious. <laughs> now, don't make me angry. Go get this bone at once. Go get the bone, Montgomery. Montgomery, don't make me come in off. There, there, there. I really wasn't going to hurt you. You know how much I love you, Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery, give me a little kiss. Come on. Good night, Mrs. Murdoch. Montgomery, what did you say? <laughs> That's better. Good night. Oh, you. Good night. Oh, oh fine. Those dogs didn't bark once, darn it. What do you mean, darn it? Well, you remember when you went over to Mabel's last night? Oh, yes, yeah, Mabel's. Yeah, well, well, I phoned the police and swore. On my word as a judge that there was dogs would be barking last night. Now, they sent a man out here who spent the whole night in the backyard waiting for those dogs to bark. <laughs> now they'll never send a man out here again. I wonder why those dogs didn't bark last night. Well, maybe they had company, dear. <laughs> maybe they had a babysitter. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? Who could be that stupid? You never know, dear. What? You never know. Never know where her 